next episode of Better Call Saul. What am I doing here? Touching base to see if you've had any thoughts on what we talked about. I'm Everett Acker's attorney. I'm just dotting the I's and due diligence. So you're back to being a lawyer. Cam, I know a scam when I see one. Hey guys, Kiwi here. In this video, I'll be breaking down discussing the new promo trailer for Season 5, Episode 5 of Better Call Saul, Dedicato and Max. Warning of spoilers for everything in the show up to episode 504, along with everything involving Gus and Hector from Breaking Bad. The 505 trailer starts with Jimmy taking a swig out of the coffee mug that Kim gave him, followed by Mike sitting outside wherever the heck he was left off at during the end of episode 504. Mike asks what he's doing out there, and I'd like to know the same thing. Not sure who the man is in front of him that he's talking to, and we don't hear their voice, but I'm gonna go ahead and predict it to be either Caldera, or it could be Gus's team of Mexican doctors. We also see a clip of Mike on the phone talking to who I assume is Saul. Mike says, so you're a lawyer again. Is Mike getting Saul to help him with getting jumped and stabbed last episode, or is he asking Saul for help with something else? It's also kind of funny seeing one of those old 2004 flip phones that were all flashy back in the time. Oh, and there's a clip of what seems to be Mike tinkering with more electronics. Not sure what he's doing here on first glance, but it reminds me a lot of when he fiddled with the tracking devices from the beginning of season 3. Next up, the trailer shows Howard calling Jimmy to ask him for a response to his job offer last episode, but funny thing is, Jimmy already gave Howard his answer indirectly in the form of two bowling balls hitting his car. What the heck, Jimmy? I gotta do a Jimmy vs. Howard video now, following up after episode 504. Along with my two previous Howard videos last week, this is crazy. Gets personal, gets dangerous. You know I worked my ass off to get here. You know that. We see Jimmy saying how something gets nasty, personal, and dangerous, while he's mixing liquids together, and then we get a cameo of the nail salon from season 1? Are we gonna get a season 1 flashback too, or is this just them returning there in season 5? Episode 5 had a flash forward last season, so it's reasonable to predict that we'll get some sort of manipulation with time this episode, either as a flashback or a breaking bad flash forward. Now I do just assume that the nail salon scene is actually during episode 5's normal timeline, and it just seems like Kim and Jimmy are waiting for someone to arrive as they stand there waiting, staring at headlights from outside. Since Jimmy seems to be spray painting something, I assume him mixing the liquids is somehow involved, but I don't really have a clue as to what or why, although the liquids do remind me a lot of Breaking Bad meth cooking montages. The trailer ends with Kim telling someone how they know how hard that she worked her ass off to get to where she is, and I assume that she's talking to Jimmy here probably about him crossing a line or going too far morally. This seems to be leading up to episode 6, Wexler vs. Goodman, where Kim and Jimmy face off against each other in court with Mr. Acker. I discussed the Kim vs. Jimmy court case episode being episode 6 during my title and synopsis video for season 5. And then we also discussed a full on Kim vs Jimmy trailer breakdown. Check those out if you haven't yet already, but now we know that this is all a facade between Jimmy and Kim and that they're actually secretly working together. Now that we know that this is about Mr. Acker, it's funny because last season with Huel getting arrested, Jimmy had a problem that only Kim could solve. But now Kim has a problem that only Jimmy could solve. Kim tried solving it by herself every way that she could. She tried doing things honestly, she tried doing things straight and narrow, and now that she can't get through to them, she has to resort to Jimmy. Because she knows that he's going to be able to get the job done, but she just didn't want to have to resort to him. She's like, screw it. Jimmy, help me out. I do think that this is intentional, and of course they help each other out by pulling stunts and scams and cons in order to trick people into getting what they want. And in this case, getting Mr. Acker to move out on his own terms, while feeling like he still won against Mesa Verde trying to kick him out. Now the thing is, Kim doesn't need to do any of this. Mesa Verde already has the go-ahead to kick this guy out of his home. Yes, it's mean and Kim wants what's best for him, but she doesn't need to go through with any of this. She could just mind her own business and not have to worry about it anymore. It's done. She's choosing to do this. She's choosing to grab Jimmy and make a scam, which is something that that she said she didn't want to do again. She said that she didn't want to scam her clients anymore, but that's literally what she's doing. This is exactly like her first client that we saw earlier in the season. He was making a bad decision, she knew what was best for him, and she just couldn't convince him, so she used Jimmy's conning method in order to trick him into making
making him think that the decision was his own, when in reality, it was what Kim wanted him to do. And so now she's doing the same thing, but towards Mr. Acker, and she's choosing to do this. Jimmy didn't tempt her, Jimmy didn't kind of dangle something over her head. She went to Jimmy and purposely asked him to help her with this. And it's kind of crazy, like she has good intentions. She's only doing this because she wants Mr. Acker to be happy in the end, even if he has to get tricked into it. She's actually proving him to be right and doing this kind of self-fulfilling prophecy where he tells her that she'll do anything to get what she wants. And that's exactly what she's doing right now. She's going to trick him with Jimmy and trick Mesa Verde in order to get what she wants. There's also a clip of Kevin from Mesa Verde telling Kim that he knows a scam when he sees one, but does he? Does he see what Jimmy and Kim are up to? Or is this a false alarm? Kind of like the you got me moment between Hank and Walt in Breaking Bad. I'll be discussing this more in my next video on the 505 sneak peek, which actually features a clip from this same scene of Kim meeting with Kevin and Paige. And what's kind of funny is the thing that has me most hyped for season 5 isn't even hinted at in the trailers, and that's fine if they want to keep it a secret until it's revealed, but episode 5's title, a Dedicado a Max, actually means dedicated to Max in Spanish. Max was Gus's protege and partner that Hector killed in front of him, and I don't know if we're going to see, like, the setup of Gus and Max and how they first met the Salamancas and Don Olayo, or if we're going to see Gus's past in Chile. I discussed it during my season 5 episode 1 review and recap when Lalo and Bolso were talking about it. And I'm also probably going to make a Gus a backstory theory a prediction video leading up to episode 5 if I have the time. So with that being said, give me any Gus backstory theories that you have or have heard of down in the comments. So some of you may have noticed that I didn't upload on Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. Full transparency, this is because I actually broke a bone in my hand on Saturday, and I have to wait until Wednesday morning to potentially get surgery on fixing it finally. So I had to sit through the weekend to call the doctor Monday morning in the first place. It's my left hand, and I'm left-handed. I actually use a computer mouse with my left hand, and so as you can imagine, this has been very inconvenient, sitting around for three days in pain waiting. This isn't a sob story, like don't feel bad for me, literally don't worry about me, I should be fine. I'm just letting you guys know where I've been because originally, and I told you guys my schedule, I had planned to do the Gene video, the Hank meets Saul video, and the Lalo meets Saul video for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and then I was also going to do the 503 review for Monday before 504 came out. Now the second Howard sneak peek sent me back a day, but I still figured that I could squeeze out three videos in two days. My point is that due to this, my videos obviously had to be delayed. It's not the end of the world, we'll still get those videos uploaded ASAP, and they're like some of them are already half done. It's just that I wanted to finish all the episode 3 discussions before episode 4 came out, but obviously that didn't happen as life happens, so it's bothering my OCD that I'll have to catch up on these videos, but hopefully you guys won't mind that I'm still discussing things from last week's episode during this week. That being said, I'm still trying to do the videos as I normally would have for episode 4. Let me know of any discussion topics that you may may have after watching episode 4 that might be worth its own video. I'll just have to double up and really grind out these videos when I can, so please click the bell notification if you haven't yet already to be notified of when I do upload all of these videos. If I upload twice in a day, I'll try to space it out a bit, but we'll see how things go. I'd appreciate a like on the video if you've enjoyed anything I've said today, as I'm always thankful for you guys helping me appease the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe if you haven't already for more content on Better Call Saul in the near future. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out!